I don't think it's your property, homie. Okay, so this is just a little bit awkward. That was good timing. Okay, this is maybe really bad timing. Heal up, please. And we'll let that explosion do the rest. Oh, shit. Oh. Everyone dead? We good? That fought me, Kasumi. You know what happened to your poor toy when you fought back. Don't talk about Gage like that. Murderer. God, this SMG is so dumb. You apart. Hi. Cloaking. I just want to let you know that I shot you in the foot to kill you. So there's that. This is valuable. Nah, you won't. You see that? Cloaking. Up. Up. Oh. Up. Oh, wait. Close though. Go get her. Nice. How many more Easter eggs are in this room?
Like we're all good? Wait. Now we're good. And the final boss fight. Save the sniper rifle. Really, I have to. You kind of defy gravity a little bit. Shields down. Let's tear that thing apart. I'm just going to guess Mass Effect fields do that. Type of stuff, maybe.
Oh, incinerate does a lot. I do to you. And done. Kasumi, if you're seeing this, it's because I'm dead. The information we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead... And if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so, so sorry. Keiji. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi, destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. Is there any way we can just destroy the information? What was no. actually on the gray box? Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He laced the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. Mass Effect 2, Keiji's Grey Box. What was on it? Did it ever come up? I don't remember. Um, various images of what seems to be Reapers are interlaced with Keiji's romantic memories of Kasumi. There's no way of sifting the information from the memories. Pre recorded, blah blah blah. Ah, okay. The information within Cage's gray box is revealed to be incriminating evidence of an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research station possessing Reaper technology. The raid turned into a massacre, but the Alliance returned empty-handed, and they faked a power failure to hide the incident. 
If Kasumi retrieved the gray box, she leaks information. Otherwise, Donovan Hawk is apparently su successful in cracking the device. Regardless of prior events, the information makes its way to Solarian Inspector John Dembow in, con in connection to a case he's pursuing. At the conclusion of the Reaper War, if Keishi's gray box wasn't destroyed, then Kasumi could be seen holding it either holding either it or a holographic representation of Keiji, depending on Shepard's choice. Okay. You heard him, Kasumi. He'd want you to destroy the information and save yourself. I know. I just... I can't. This is all that's left of him. If it's easier, I could do it for you. I... Okay. Just get it over with. Please. You have your own memories of him, do you not? Finally, level up. As soon as level T gotten. New outfit, the SMG, which is so good. We're just about there. Oh god, I need to get out of the dress. Yikes! Yike. Thought it resets. Much better. Wait, space hamster. Oh shit, my camera's in the way. I'm sorry guys, hang on. That's all he does! He just squeaks. Okay, um... What have we got here? I have two points. I might just hold on to it. That's for the journal, Zaid, stop collectors, convict. Assignments. Ah yeah, we need to go to that facility. Arya needs to look at that. Oh right, need to go to Chakwas. Okay. So there's a little bit of cleanup that we can do here. Let us go reminisce with Dr. Chocolates. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Ceres ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now? You and me. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. By the way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff. Joker will always have Rolic Syndrome. 
He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish he weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? To the people we care for, may we never take them for granted. That cup was so far away from my face. Good God. Oh boy. All right. Time to walk around with a little bit of a wobble here. Okay, well, let's go check on some upgrades real quick, and then we'll probably go get our other companion here. No, wait, I have cleanup, idiot. God damn it, I'm a dumbass. Additional capacity? Yes. I do have the platinum for that. Tech damage? Yes. Because that will help me. Emergency shielding. Holy crap, 25,000. What? Yeah, that helps. Nothing open up there. Emergency shielding, fine. Yeah, I I'm scanning a bunch of planets anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much there. Uh, as for the prototypes, might as well get these out of the way. I have a lot of palladium and iridium, so I'm good there. Solid. Okay. Time to do some quick cleanup. First, we'll head to Omega and drop off that information to Arya. Fuel at one half capacity. Yep, thank you. And we can also probably go buy stuff that I left behind as well, maybe. Um, was it this one? Yeah.
Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. Uh huh. Come on, let me in. Ari's expecting me. Oh, no, no, she's not. I believe there's also a short quest here and also an encounter to do as well. So we'll get that done. Okay, three things. What do you need? This data pad was on one of the mercs going after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? Interesting. I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You do that. Thought you had work. You not? What do you need? Tell me how you got set up here. Uh. This is privilege. I have many friends and enemies I keep. Short answer? Mind your so own. You must know what. Just don't waste my time. Okay. Maybe I'll be here. Uh, Aria has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Aria has in mind. Aria's gotten word that some blood packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this, got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. Fair enough. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job's done. Good luck. Okay, so behind this door should be... Ah, uh, yes. Commander Shepard? Is that you? I, I heard you were dead. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I don't expect you'd remember. You removed two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above? I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. And now you're on Omega. Once a criminal, always a criminal, eh? No. I'm no commander. I retire. I know better than to go back on my word with you. Mm -hmm. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Yeah. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. That's... More noble than I expected. Noble? No. It's just that someone came along a few years ago and made me see the error of my ways. You convinced me that I could use my contacts and skills for things other than smuggling and exploitation. I thank you for that. There you go. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. 
So that's what she's been up to. If you don't remember her, we, uh, basically what she said, we did a quest line where we had to clear other warlords. And we met her on a third planet and she's like, okay, this is mine, we're gonna do other things now. And I said, no, you're gonna do the other, other things now. Now here is encounter two of three. That's not the right color. first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk, and an hour later, he was puking blood. Duly noted. Let's get back to work. Be careful out there. Let's go pay him a visit. Walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying. The strong still exploiting the weak. Nothing I did here even made a dent in this. This is the marketplace. This is the part that I always get lost in. It frustrates me. Oh, but here we go. Hey, buddy. I gotta talk to you. Do I know you? No, no. Humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. What do you think these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers? Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you. Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan. You want a piece of me? I'll leave your corpse for the fortune. Good man. They didn't even bother to clean it up either. Eh, eh, uh. Gotta like it. You can ask you some questions, okay? What do you know about Arya? A few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. Tour this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. 
I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. Rumor has it some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Well, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. And someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. I don't matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little The camera joke. is inside of Garrus right now. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well. Was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay to see who thinks me important enough to kill. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows while I remain an old man who lets others fight his... Ah, uh, not quite. I know something no, about Krogan culture. remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command. Now it's just Arya's trophy. There you, oh, you go. Could be. You could be my Trent, fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Find the thugs in or near afterlife and kill them on behalf of the patron. Okay. Let's start a bar fight. I know that feeling, man. All right, question is, where are they? Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. Your Patriarch's crap. I wasn't aware the old man had one. You should have done your homework. Hey, that was easy. Interesting. Ah, replacement bartender. Hey, buddy. You killed them all. And 
Everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Use this. Don't ever let anyone think you're weak again. Thanks to you, I am a Krogan. By the way, be careful with Arya. She will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. True. I think it reminds her too much of herself. Uh -huh. Set here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. You can use any help we can get. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch was something different. A powerful friend. I'm surprised you were ever anything but rivals. We were allies for a hundred years. I suppose he decided that was long enough. It wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Superior intel? Assassination? That's cute. No, I took advantage of certain skills my people try to downplay. Oh. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title. And the man. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Dignity is one of the few commodities not available on Omega. Who's her voice actress? Carrie Ann Moss. Uh, who? One moment. Where has she been in? Matrix, Memento.
Nothing I recognize, really. Yeah, nothing I recognize. Oh, she's Canadian, though. Fair enough. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. Oh, uh, okay. Someone thought already heard that. Interesting. Let's move on. Do you need something else? Nope. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You should find a nice young man to keep you warm in the meantime. You look like you need to loosen up a little. I mean, isn't that why I have Garrus here? Just a thought. Wait, that's a Hanar in the background. Wait, there's two Hanar in the background. Three. Nice. Alright, gonna quickly go through the stores and purchase up whatever I left behind. Hmm. Yeah, that's 25k. I hate spending this, this much, but... Oh, 75 too. And 50,000. Yikes. I thought that was a store, apparently. Ah, uh, this is a store. Okay, that's it there. 